Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to teach you the easiest ways to make a Minecraft server. Now the first step is to go to the official Minecraft website, which is minecraft.net. And then you want to look on the right hand side of the page and click the download it here link. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And that'll bring me to this page, which is minecraft.net slash download. And on here, there's a couple little download links which I'm going to explain now. The first one is to download the Minecraft client, which is minecraft.exe. You guys probably already have that. That's what you'll need to connect to any Minecraft server. And then just below it is the multiplayer servers. So the first link is for Windows users. Please remember that, guys. If you're running a Windows operating system, all you have to do is click on this link. And that'll go ahead and download it. I'll click it. It pops up like this. You want to click save file. It'll download to your desktop or wherever. You'll get the file. Basically all you want to do then is double click it. It'll open up a server window. And your server is basically live from then on. All the default configuration will work for you. The only difference if your, thing, if your server doesn't work is if your ports aren't open. But I can't actually cover that this episode, but make sure to Google how to open my Minecraft ports. And usually, by default, your Minecraft port will be 25565. I'll write this here. So, Minecraft port 25565. That'll, of course, be in the description as well. And that's the port you'll want to open. Now... If you've got a different router, different modem, I can't possibly help you with that. But all the brands will be different. But it'll all be the same as you have to open that port. And then you have to get people to connect to your external IP. And to get your external IP, just go to google.com. Type in what is my IP. Bam, you're good to go. Click search and you'll be good. That's pretty much that's the best explanation I can give you. I'm not going to type in what is my IP into Google because I don't want the internet knowing my IP. So there you go, guys. Just do that and you should be fine. Give your external IP out to your friends and they can connect to your server. Now, if you are running Linux or Mac, it's a bit harder for you. And you'll probably want to look up wikis and stuff. See right here? See this wiki article from a tutorial? Just go ahead and click that. That'll bring up a page. I'll click it for you guys. And let's see if this page loads. Do, 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 do. Transferring data. Here we go. So there's a whole bunch of steps and stuff here. And basically to run it on Linux, all you have to do is download this file here and then run it in terminal. For those of you who don't know what that means, you basically have to copy paste this command into your terminal or command prompt type thing. And bam, it'll be running. And that'll have your server running on the default configuration, the same as if you just downloaded this and double-clicked it on Windows. And you also have to open ports for that, of course, guys. Some of you might not have to open ports, depending on your router. You might be able to click that. Bam, you're good to go. Now, for the warnings, guys. I've got to warn some of you before you get yourself in some trouble here. Giving out your external IP is dangerous for hackers, people who want to DDoS your internet connection, knock it offline. And so basically, these options here are only if you want to play vanilla or a small server with your friends. Because it's very likely your internet connection won't be able to handle many players. Even if you do trust them all with your external IP, you might not be able to hold them all on your server anyway. So, what your option is then is to get a dedicated machine or dedicated server host to, to host your Minecraft server for you. Basically what they do is they, they download these files just like you would, probably this one, and they put it on a supercomputer in a data center, somewhere really good connectivity to the rest of the world, so then everyone can connect through the high bandwidth, and, of course, it is secure because it's not your IP, it's a server's IP. So you're much more secure doing it that way, and it can host much more people. Now, I'm going to show you how to do that with my own company. Let's go ahead and open up another Google page here. We'll type in Hades Solutions. Now, this is my company, and for those of you who don't know me, and you haven't been a subscriber or whatever, what you probably should know is... This website is based, guys. HadeSolutions.com. 
can type in Hade Solutions in Google, or of course the link will be in the description. And basically, I host tons of servers for people. I have two Minecraft servers myself, with hundreds of players on every day, and I also manage several other massive Minecraft servers. So I know what I'm talking about, guys, and I'm going to give you some tips to picking the best server for what you need. Alright, so what you want to do first, is you can either click the banner, or you can go Game Servers, Minecraft Servers, and that'll load up a page here with some different packages. And right here is exactly what you want to be buying if you don't want any effort at all. These are set up automatically. Once you buy it, it is instantly set it up and then emailed to you the details so you can log on and play straight away. That's how good it is, guys. So let's scroll down here and talk about the packages. The first package is the chicken. I would only suggest buying this if you didn't if you didn't really like the start of the tutorial and you wanted a secure server on a really good connection. It only has five slots and it's vanilla only. So if you just want to play like a vanilla survival with your friends, five friends, whatever, and you want it all managed for you, you don't want to do anything, go ahead and click order now. You've got yourself a server to play with your buddies. The packages above that, basically what happens is the slot increases and the amount of RAM you have increases. Now you only need more RAM because it lets you hold more players, it lets you hold bit bigger maps, and once you get further up higher it also lets you install more plugins. Now I'm going to talk about plugins in a bit, but so basically here what I would suggest is one gig of RAM is a good amount. That's what I would suggest. That's what I recommend for people buying a server. They don't want any worries. They just want to be able to run out, explore all the map, do whatever they want, install Bucket, install some plugins, and they'll be 100% fine with a 1 gigabyte server if you got under 20 people. And then above this, I would highly suggest upgrading to get the higher slots if you think you will need it. Don't buy more slots if you don't think you'll need it. If you don't know, if you're just having a couple people, but you want to experiment, I would get either the one gig, two gig, or three gig package, and I would only really get the higher packages if you need the more slots, because the RAM shouldn't really affect you if you're not having that many people join, guys. So take, keep that in mind. Now I'm going to show you how to order this. I'm going to quickly go over the rest of the site. Just so you guys know what's going on and know your way around. The login is actually in the top right here. See client login? If we click this page, after you have made an account and bought something, you can log in here. And this is how you can manage your server, pay your bills, all that type of stuff. Just log in here, you'll be good to go. And now, I've got a couple other pages here. So if you have any problems with the server, there's a contact form right here. Send us a message. We'll be able to help you easily within 24 hours. You have a reply, we'll fix your server. We basically help with nearly any of your problems. So just make sure to chuck us, a, chuck us an email if you need any more help, if you have any more questions. On this page, we have advertising deals to advertise your YouTube channel or to advertise your game server once it's set up. Because it's hard. the hardest part of making a popular Minecraft server is advertising. That's why we got these packages here. And then we also have web hosting for anyone who's interested in extremely cheap web hosting. Look at that, you can get a website for two bucks. This is the hosting. We don't actually make your website, guys. Keep that in mind. Dedicated servers. Now, you're probably looking at this going, why would I need this? What does this have to do with Minecraft? Well, all my big servers with 200 plus players, they all need a dedicated server. Now... Of course, I run tons of big companies Minecraft servers, and most of them tend to buy this one. I'm going to give you the heads up. Don't buy the most expensive one. This one is the most popular package. 32 gig RAM. Bandwidth speed doesn't really matter for Minecraft servers, but it does help protect you against anti-DDoS. The more bandwidth you have, the more secured you would be, obviously, the more traffic you could handle. And yeah, this is the package I would suggest. If you were thinking of making a 100 slot plus server, I'll jump on this, definitely. Because this we set this up for you. We will set up all the Java, we'll run all your servers for you, we'll set up a multi-craft control panel so you can easily access it. We'll set up your drives in RAID 1 for reliability and backup protection type stuff. So yeah, but that's only if you have a server over 100 people, I'd suggest buying this, guys. 
or over 50 people and you're, you're thinking of expanding type thing. All right, so now for those of you who I think the majority will be, and that is those of you who have like 10 or 20 friends, I'm going to recommend a server for you now. I would say the Sheep. The Sheep package is great. Gives you one gig dedicated RAM, lets you run bucket servers, which lets you install plugins. The difference between vanilla and bucket is that Bucket basically lets you have plugins like factions or survival games, spleef, you know, all that cool stuff. That's why you'll need to get some more RAM so you can handle some plugins. And all you want to do, click the order now button. That'll bring up a brand new page. Here we go, it's loading here. And bam, it tell there's a couple add-ons you can get. I wouldn't worry too much about this, but you can if you want to. See here, you can get the basic, the basic plugin configuration, how we set up these basic plugins for you for 25 bucks. But seeing as you, that's basically only if you don't know how, we can set it up for you. But if you do know how, of course you wouldn't want to buy that. We have the advanced plugin package, which includes all these plugins. But you must have a server 2 gigabyte or more. If you start installing this many plugins, guys, you need more RAM. The plugins take up so much RAM depending on which ones you have. So you want to get more RAM if you are going to be installing more plugins. Alright guys, and the custom spawn belt. We have an amazing build team which you can get to custom build a spawn for you right there. And yeah, so there we go. It costs you 10 AUD monthly. You must take that into account. All of our prices are actually much cheaper than every website on the internet. If you look it up... We by far have the cheapest prices because we are in AUD, which is valued less than USD, which is what most of the people on the internet sell them in. So ten one wait nine dollars eighty five AUD is like eight dollars or seven dollars ninety USD at the current time. That changes all the time, but whatever. You get the point. AUD is worth less than USD. What you want to do is type in your Minecraft username, Hades MC. You want to click the checkout button. And we actually offer a few different payment methods here. You just have to enter your details. And the payment method is PayPal. But once you've clicked complete order, you can actually, well, PayPal lets you pay by anything pretty much. You can pay by credit card, MasterCard, Visa, all that stuff. American Express, I don't know. Tons of stuff. PayPal accepts. So you're good to go with that. And yeah, you just fill in your details. You'll click complete order. A PayPal screen will pay up. Or pop up. You'll type in your details there. Do little, 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 little. Bam. Click OK. And then you will receive an email, guys. When you get this email, it'll be sent to your Gmail account, Hotmail account. If it doesn't become in your inbox, make sure to check your spam. And it will include all your server details. It'll automatically be set up for you. First line will look something like this. I'll go ahead and type something. I'll bring up a notepad. Why not? Where's a notepad? Here we go. Drag that on the screen, and it'll, the email will look something like this. Hey, Solutions, thanks for purchasing a package. The first thing will be your IP. I'm going to grab a random IP here. There it is. I've posted it on the screen. Oh, get rid of that. So that'll be your IP. It'll say something like that, and your port might be 25568. So you'll just have to copy this, Control c paste it into your Minecraft game client server list and you'll be able to connect to the server without having to do any configuration at all guys. 100% set up for you within minutes. And then below that, it'll have your multicraft login, which is if you want to configure your server. It'll look something like this. And you'll have to copy paste that into your URL, just like this guys. We copy it, we drag it into here, See, like, I'm going to go to a different page here. We'll go to this one. You would paste it in here. This is where you paste it, guys. So it look, it'll look something like this. Your IP slash Multicraft. You can get rid of this at the start if you want. And then you just click Enter. It'll bring you to a page that looks like this. And then this is where you'll want to log in. And this pretend this is still the email. Below that, it'll say username. And that'll be your Minecraft username. So mine is HadesMC. And then below that, it'll say your password. And it'll be a bunch of randomly generated mumbo jumbo, which you can change once you log in. So that is basically what your email will look like, guys. The first line, your IP you can connect to to start playing. The next line, whoop, 
where you want to go to configure your server if you want to change it to a different bucket server maybe spigot maybe tech it who knows you can change it to whatever you want once you're logged in and then your username and password which we enter here username hades mc password gibberish and then you click login you're good to go good to edit it i'm going to show you how to use the multicraft control panel in a future episode so make sure to stay tuned subscribe chuck the video a like and yes that's what you'll want to do if you want to learn how to use multicraft i'll jump back onto the site now oh which side am i talking about i've already exited haven't i all right whatever <laughs> so that's pretty much all i have for you today guys it is extremely simple simple don't forget Hade Solutions will get you there, where you want to be. If you don't want to host your Minecraft server this way, with opening ports and having security issues, HadeSolutions.net as you covered, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you have any questions, make sure to post in the comments. Or if you're buying a server from Hade Solutions, you can open a support ticket here. You can log in and look at the support and videos that I have there to like tutorials, or you can click contact right here and email us your questions. I love to hear from you guys. Hopefully I'll see you guys on the website, and I'll see you later.